Hello everyone, welcome to the Imprint Explained and today we're looking at a very good gesture of the Prime Minister. Uh, he has taken out an ordinance that uh, there'll be a 30% salary cut for the MP, MPs uh, plus uh, the MP lads has been suspended. So what is happening was that all the MPs were uh, giving the, up the MP lads, giving it to the PM care, right? And uh, according to Prakash Javedkar, he says uh, all the MPs were feeling that charity begins at home. Therefore, uh, we have decided an ordinance. Uh, many MPs had contributed to MP LAD funds for COVID-19 related measures. So he thought that, okay, it's better. There have been more of piecemeal efforts. Now a comprehensive decision has been taken for suspending the MP LAD for two years. Uh, now, obviously, uh, that has led to a bit of an issue, right? Opposition parties are hitting out at the government saying it will hit developmental works. Center's decision on MP LAT funds uh, is detrimental. Uh, that is the Kerala CM. And even other opposition leaders are saying that this is an encroachment on their rights. Now, uh, let's try to look at what is MP LATs and what, what would they happen. So uh, the MP LATs has been suspended and uh, Basically, what has happened is, norm, what is the MP land? It is a fund of 5 crore rupees. Uh, it basically has now been totally taken away. So something like 7,900 crore rupees have been taken, right? And uh, obviously, uh, this is a problem because uh, a lot of development works are carried on in constituencies using the MP land fund. But uh, the normal cases that are normally it's a non-lapsable fund and it's only in the last two years, you know, these MPs tend to spend this. So maybe it will not make a difference, right? On the other hand, uh, if you think about it, it's only a 30% cut. I think we everybody knows instead of MPs, we have crorepatis in India, right? If you look at uh, the ADR reports, right? Uh, even if you think just about, can a normal person even think of becoming an MP? How much money does it take to become an MP? Right, if you think about that, I think um, something like 10, 15 crores would be a normal number, you might think. So if that's the case, uh, uh, would you really think that a 30% cut is enough? But let's now look at what is MPLAT, right? So, MP Land uh, obviously is a member of parliament, uh, local area development division, uh, is entrusted with responsibility of the MP Land. And what is that? Uh, it's a local area development scheme. Now, if you think about it, this scheme should have been actually been implemented by the panchayat or some other body or the block development officer. Uh, but now what has happened, this is an endorsement by the execute, uh, by the legislature on the executive. So under this scheme, each MP has a choice to suggest uh, to district collector for works to the tune of 5 crore rupees per annum to be taken up in her or his constituency. Now, uh, what about Rajasvai MPs? Because, you know, they don't have any constituencies. They can actually recommend works in one or two districts from the state they have been elected from. Nominated members can choose uh, one or two districts from any state in the country, right? Uh, then MP uh, lads, uh, there's a guideline for what, where all schemes and monitoring of schemes of MP lads. And the MOSPI, uh, that is Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, uh, allocates funds for this. Now, the problem is now with no MP lads, uh, there is a central division of funds. Now, remember, there is uh, always a case of opposition ruled states, and they say normally that the center gives them less funds. And take, for example, the center has allocated 157 crore uh, of disaster response mitigation funds to Kerala, and it has 314 COVID cases. Uh, Gujarat has only 122, will get 662 crores. So this is an imbalance, and this will happen, right? And it's expected to happen. Right. Uh, obviously, the if you're an opposition rule state, uh, you'll get less funds. And this uh, MP lad fund used to actually be used by the MPs in opposition rule states as well. So this is a problem. Now, what are the issues with MP lads? Obviously, as we talked about, in principle, it violates the separation of powers principle. Executive and legislature are not supposed to obviously do the same work. Right, executive is not supposed to legislate when we have delegated legislation. Uh, right, uh, rules are made by so we have legislation which has pushed push through, right, and rules are made by the bureaucracy. On the other hand, legislature uh, obviously wants to be the executive, so they basically created the MP Lat Fund. Now, this happened in 1993. Uh, now, the problem with that is um, that it creates 
uh, an issue right it is a political mileage for elections right uh, people who oh, mps uh, use it for uh, you know before the election so they actually so 5 crore each every year so i have like at the end of the fourth year i have 20 and plus 5 crore so i have 25 crore rupees so i am pretty much using it for that i am putting using it as a kitty for making development works during the last year and then i'm going to show off that i have really worked hard the other problems uh, with the mp land is the the cag reports the, the comptroller and auditor general of india has audited the receipts of many state governments in mp lads and in 2010 it said that uh, mp's constituencies right ignore were ignored right uh, residents forums local people were not asked what were their local needs and it was just implemented from top down uh, there was insufficient uh, monitoring uh, there was flouting of rules and corruption there was a lot of diversion of funds to projects right and there are a lot of conditions uh, which were violated as well right like uh, you're not supposed to give money to a trust which is owned by your family members or some office bearers so that has been done repeatedly okay now what about the arc uh, that is the second uh, administrative reforms commission uh, the fourth report that is ethics in government uh, it talks about that several party leaders legislatures feel the need for discretionary public fund at their disposal uh, to execute public work to satisfy the need of their constituencies so this is the first thought process they have then how are these schemes uh, seriously erode the notion of separation of powers as we talked about the legislature directly becomes executive making day to day expenditure after the legislature has approved the budget is a key executive function right so in some way the thinking like ki yaar main apna kaam nahi karunga main dusron ka kaam karna chahta hu so it's like everybody in this world right especially indians they love to you know uh, solve the problems of others apna kaam karna utna pasand nahi but dusron ka kaam mein khamiya nikalna usko better karna bahut very very good uh, right and then also we are very good at managing that disasters i would say right ki exam se pehle padhne ka bahut shauk hai logon ko then several constitu- uh, constitutional experts and legal luminaries have uh, pointed out the unconstitutionality of the scheme to so, scheme thi uh, ek report hai that is scheme ki scheme ke bare mp lad a concept uh, confusion and contradiction so this is a uh, you know a report written by former psc chairman era says he on and he says that mp lad scheme distorted the mp rules in the federal system and diverted funds uh, which would have actually gone to agencies like the panchayati raj institutions and apart from infringing the right of the local government sabse bada obviously issue ye hai ki conflict of interest ho jata hai when they take up executive roles right so sabse zyada corruption bhi ho sakti hai using this right and uh, arc ka recommendation hai ki mp lad fund ko abolish kiya jaye okay finally a practice question for upsc prelims so question is which of the following ministers in charge of the mp lad scheme uh, ministry of rural development niti aayog ministry of housing and urban affairs a ministry of statistics and program implementation so you can pause the video try the question right and uh, the answer obviously is d ministry of statistics and program implementation though initially we had uh, the ministry of rural development right in the beginning that is in 1993 Okay thank you for listening do subscribe and like our channel uh, join our telegram group for the pdf of the video uh, thank you for listening